At work, as in life, it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind and forget about the bigger picture. Luckily, the more you use Insightly, the more general information you have about your business. And Insightly reports help you tap into that information so you can see that bigger picture. And make better decisions. Let's check it out. All right, here we are looking at our opportunities. And what we're going to try to do is create a report that looks at next quarter's opportunities so that we can get a, a view of our future pipeline. So we'll go down to the Reports tab. And here you can see a bunch of report folders here. Uh, there's some standard reports to start off with. You can build based on those. But we're going to go ahead and go to New Report. Create one um, from scratch. Yeah. And you're going to select an Opportunity Report and start from there. All right. Now, automatically, what pops up is every single opportunity you've currently got in your CRM, along with some default columns. We're going to eliminate the ones that we don't need and then start to filter. And we just want to take a look at the, the opportunities that are currently open. So we'll filter by that. And then we want to filter for next quarter. So how do we do that, Tony? So you have a couple of options. If you just want to run this one time, you'll put in the exact dates. But you'll also notice when you select a date field that over on the right, you have a little information icon. So you can select a relative date. If you click that, every time you run the report, it'll always be up to date based on the current date. Okay. So now what pops up is every opportunity that's projected to close in Q3. Yeah, and you can add as many fields as you'd like. You can group them by dragging them up to the top. So each time you drag up one of these fields, it's going to nest the information by that field. And then it's also going to be useful when we create the chart. So now we need a summary field. This will give you the totals down at the bottom for each of the sections and groups that you're working with. And again, this is valuable not only for the report itself, but when we go to add a chart. And this is, to me, of course, the most exciting part of, of reporting. We have uh, eight different choices, types of charts that you can create. So here, the, the funnel chart is great to represent your pipeline. So to make it look right, we'll, we'll set the segments as current pipeline stage. And then we have to set the values. We're not interested in how many individual opportunities there are in each stage. We want to know the money, the cash money opportunity value for each one. So as soon as we place the value at opportunity value, you can see in the parentheses on the right, that is a total value of all the opportunities in each stage. So we can also look at the expected value, which calculates the total opportunity value with the expected win percentage. So if your win probabilities are accurate, this is going to be a more accurate representation of what you're likely to make in the quarter. All right, so all we do is give it a name and we save it and boom, there it is. We can always access this report. It will stay up to date as the information in your CRM changes, right, Tony? Within that date range that you put in there, yes. All right, so, so what are some other cool things that we can do once we've got this report? So you can export your report. Um, you can also schedule a report so that you can receive a regularly updated report emailed to you. So in this case, we'll have it sent to Grace too. She's, she's exactly. our boss. And so if we're not hitting our numbers, she's going to want to know. Report scheduled successfully. And now, there's now, one more thing. This is an alert. So you can set up an alert. It's similar to a scheduled report, except that you'll only get it when the report hits a certain limit that you've set. So in this case, we want to know if our expected bookings for a particular quarter are less than $10,000. If so, the alarm bells go off. We get the email uh, notifying us that maybe we got to pick it up. we got to find some more opportunities. Exactly. So here's an example of an exported report. You'll get that email. You can click the link and download your file. Open it up in, in your favorite spreadsheet app of choice. Create some new charts within uh, Excel if you like to. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, now it's time for you to slice and dice your data to get a better understanding of your business. And share some of the reports you're building in the comments. We'd love to see them. Uh, Tony, um, about that TPS report, uh, I think we've got a little problem. I, I got the memo. <laughs>